Hello, Shim Tech Boys. Got a couple of products in from Zag for the Galaxy Flip 6. Now, recently we just done the Fold 6. Do check them out. We've got the same kind of stuff here again, this time around, only for the flip. The smaller of the two. This little lad here. So, we're going to have a look at that. So, first up, we've got the lens. So, this will protect your lens, which you'll need protection. You've got this Bridgetown Slim case. Which is a folding case, graphene fortified, and on the back, extreme strength, heat dissipation, graphene strengthened, wireless charging, works with most chargers. Now, having said that, you need the ones that are stronger, not the little silly 5 watt ones, so I know that from testing before, um, similar products. And you've got 10 foot 3 meter drop protection, recycled materials, and industry leading innovators graphene, aviation, aerospace, professional sports, EVs, and military. So that's the case. On to the protector. Ultimate scratch protection, smudge free screen, antimicrobial treatment which protects the screen growing bacteria, odor causing bacteria. Yuck. And easy apply installation. So that's it there. Impact and scratch protection, precise installation with a tray. So that's that. And we've got the lens which will just pop on the front. Maximum scratch protection, precise fit, advanced clarity, and smudge free lens. And again, you have lifetime warranty and scan to register. So that's basically all three there in a nutshell. And yeah, might as well get going, I suppose, and have a look. We will take out the lens first, as it's the smallest of the lot. And out you get. So this is what we're going to get. Let's pop this back in here. Right, so you got your cleaning cloth, which you've already cleaned your device. And you've got your piece for removing all the dust and this little guy itself here. So peel this layer first and avoid touching adhesive. So we'll go ahead and do that. Well, it doesn't want to come off. Very tough. But this is the lens here anyway. It's small and it's tiny. So what we're gonna do is pop it on as we already have the device cleaned up and it'll just settle in there like that pop on give it a good squash give the screen another quick rub here because we're all prepared as you do be and that's it job is done so let's see if we have any problems with the camera and we'll open it up and no problems with the camera there, so we take a photograph, we'll go like that. Zoom in, no dust on the lens, nothing at all, just dust on the table. So that's that done, nice and simple. And it's going to protect your lens. As it is raised, it's not going to flatten out, but the case will hopefully sort that out when we put it on. And that's basically it on there, nice and simple. So we will move all this out of the way. So we can get moving. I'll leave the case to last. So up next is the screen protector. So same idea. You've got your tray here. You've got your lens. And finally, in the last one. We have got the same three items again. You've got one, two, and three. So we'll just move all this out of the way as well. Just so there's no mess. And that's that there. So this is the tray here. So which way will this go on? Let's have a look. Left and up. So, that's a good one, that. It's not going to fit in that way. 
but it fits in that way by the looks of it. That looks like it there. So you can see here what the story is. And actually, I got it wrong. I should be around this way because the case has to go around this here. Right, so again, we give this screen a clean like so. As we've already got it done from earlier on, and now we need to find out which way this goes on here. So you've got two sides, and that's what we need to figure out. And a bit of dust is after falling on there. And we get this out of the way, and by the looks of it, it's going to go on across like that. So you need to peel this guy off first. And we need to hold it here so we don't get caught out. Pop it on. And let it settle like that. And you can see it doesn't come in contact with the lens there. So that's going cool with the lens that we've just put on. So we just need to push it down. And hopefully all the air has gone over. And that's basically it there. So it's going to push down, squash out these bubbles. Again, there's no squeegee in the box. So that's just a thing to keep in mind. We'll take this out, have a look at the screen and Pull in pin. All works fine there as you can see, no problems there. And yeah, we've the launcher on there. Now you need to install a good lock um launcher to get all the apps on your home screen if you've not done it before. But we'll talk about that another time. So next up is the case itself. So we can just pop all this over here for the minute. And this shouldn't be too much trouble. So we get it out from the top. Pop it over there. And that's it there, dust remover. So if you want to just remove your dust. And it's a bit impossible here for me to have that. So I'm just going to clear all this dust off here. And I have a shimmy here. And we have it for the front. So that's it there for the minute. We'll pop off these little guys here as they will help it stick to the device. So we'll just pop in here. That's one side on there. Fold it over. And there you go. The case is on. Nice and grippy, extra grips on the side here, which you can see your keys are here. Again, um, this top part is exposed when it's closed. Again, it is hard to do. I have seen some cases for previous flips with a protector here, but it just makes them a lot more bulky and a bit stupid looking. So it's just a risk have to take. If you're not clumsy and don't drop your phone, this will be fine and perfect. It does have a nice grip too as well. You've got these grips on the side here as you can see, the little ridges. All your parts are accessible from the bottom there, as you can see. And if you look down, you can see it's going around the whole front of the screen and it covers the lens as well. So you can see down there what kind of protection you're getting, which is pretty cool. And certainly will protect your device if it happens to drop down like that. So let's see what it's like when it opens up. So there you go, it's just flush with the body of the phone. So that's pretty much it there. So you can see down there, it's level with the phone itself. It's not actually raised up, which might have been a bit more ideal. But then again, it'll stop Dort getting in here. Because if Dort gets in there and gets into that screen, you know yourself it's soft and it doesn't leave a gap 
so you can see there's no gap there so that's what you want and it'll stop the door getting in and that's basically it and what you're going to get and finally we might as well check for wireless charging so I'm going to pop it on and there we go we have got wireless charging so that's basically all you need to know and you can see here there's a nice ridge on the side so your finger will naturally fall into this power button here keys are nice and tactile and that's basically what you want so we're going to check this out now with the volume toggles there nice and tactile as you can see and if you have a look at how it's going to close over to in here you can see there's actually a little piece going from one side to the other and when it opens out like this it's going to be just like that there so that's basically it for the Zag range of products for the Galaxy Flip 6 and pretty nice indeed and I do like the option of getting the or the feature so they say of getting the additional grip because you do kind of need it with a small phone and everywhere else is protected it's got the Zag brand in here on the side as well nice tactile buttons I like the way your finger is naturally going to fall into this button here it's your power button and that's really it but this thing here just still to be careful with that if you decide to pick one up but like i said there's a lot of cases most cases you're going to get for this phone are going to be the same and any that you do see from some other brands which you've tried before just adds that bit of extra bulk to the top here and the whole case and they don't really suit them to be honest so that's just the small caveat that you have with a flip phone or the folding phone for that matter and that's just how it is so we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon